Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is about CMOS inverter, its DC characteristics, regions of operation and current to voltage curve. Let us get in. What is CMOS inverter? CMOS inverter is an inverter. It will be consisting of P MOSFET in the pull up, N MOSFET in the pull down. When we are going to apply voltage 0 from the input, it will generate output 1. This output 1 will generate from P MOSFET. That's why we call it as P MOSFET is responsible for generating the output 1, it will pull up the output. When the input is 1, output will be 0. For this, N MOSFET is responsible to generate 0. That's why we call N MOSFET is pull down transistor. So to understand the working of this, we need to know the working of P MOSFET and N MOSFET. When the input is 0, what happens? This P MOSFET will be on and N MOSFET will be off. Because of P MOSFET on, we can treat it as a closed switch like this and we will be having a positive voltage that is VDD over here. Because of that, we will be getting the output as positive voltage. We treat it as logic one. At this stage, N MOSFET is off means it is an open circuit like this. So there is no connection from output to ground. There is a connection established from VDD to output. So we will be getting logic one as output when the input is zero. Similarly, when the input is one, what happens? P MOSFET will be off, N MOSFET will be on. So from VDD, there is no direct connection from the uh, P transistor. There is a open circuit here. And for the output terminal, we have a path over here, which is connected to ground. So this ground will be having zero volt. So the output terminal will be getting logic zero as output. This is how P MOSFET and N MOSFET will alternatively turning on and it will generate the complementary output when we are giving one and zero. So if we plot this V out versus V in, it look like this. In X axis, I have taken V in. In Y axis, it is V out. When V in is zero, it is very minimal. The output will be maximum. And as V in increases further, output will reduce. And finally, it becomes zero when V in reaches maximum point. This is the DC characteristics of CMOS inverter. If you want to analyze this CMOS inverter DC characteristics in a better way, we need to divide this curve into five regions. This is region A, region B, and region C, region D, and region E. To understand this curve, we need to understand what is the state of the P transistor and what is the state of the N transistor is when we are start applying the voltage from zero to a maximum volt called five volt. What is the state of these transistors? Depending on that, the behavior of these two changes and output changes. Let us analyze these by taking each and every regions at one time. The very first thing is we need to understand the ports of these transistors means these two are gates and we know that VGS is this VGS here VGS is this end right similarly this is VDS of the P transistor this is VDS of the N transistor depending on these voltages only we say the transistors will be in cutoff region non saturation region and saturation region first let us take a region A in region A in any region let us not worry about the P transistor status let us only look at the N transistor status it is easy to understand so the region A is that we are start applying the voltage and we reached VTN point it means VGS what we have here that is the gate input we are applying from 0 to uh, we reached VTN point at this time VGS will be less than the threshold voltage of the P N transistor because of this the transistor will be in cutoff region cutoff region in the sense there is no current flow there is no current flow means the transistor will be completely off. So there is no path from this end to this end. The from here to here it is open circuited. So at that time P transistor will be on. We know that P transistor conducts. So it is a closed path. So we will be getting a maximum voltage at output. So we say V out will be equal to VDD. If you look at the P transistor and if you know the P transistor characteristics, it will be in linear region. So in region A because of the voltage input is less than the threshold voltage we call it as v out will be equal to vdd so now if you look at the region b region b is that we applying the voltage v in above the threshold voltage of the n transistor so we say vgs is greater than vt now what about vds of the n transistor vds is also greater than vgs minus vt so if you look at vgs it is just around one volt but if we treat VDD as 5 volts and we will be having a maximum voltage at this terminal now. So obviously VDS is more than VGS minus VT. 
we say n transistor will be in saturation region and this n transistor started to conduct the voltage will drop from here you can see the curve it is voltage is reducing so uh, till point c if we if we say because of the p transistor in a linear region as we increase further it will shift to saturation and n mosfet is in saturation region at this time the voltage reduces and v out will be greater than half of the voltage half of the voltage is this suppose vdd is 5 volt we are getting 5 volt in region a and it drops now in region b so what is the voltage means it is less than 5 volt we say this is 2.5 volt region or vdd by 2 so it is more than that so v out will be vdd divided by 2 more than that now comes region c region c is exact half of the input v arrived means v in is applied as vdd by 2 and vdd is also reduced to half of that so this is the point at which we will be getting vdd by 2 at this time both the transistors will be in saturation region so v out can be written as it is vdd divided by 2 even vn v in is also vdd divided by 2 now comes region d in region d what happens p transistor switch to saturation region if you look at the n transistor n transistor gate voltage is already more than vt so if you look at the drain and to source voltage it is dropping now the vgs is more than 2.5 volts right it is more than 2.5 volts point but vds is coming down from 2.5 volts point it is less than it is like 2 volts so drain to source voltage of the n transistor is less than the gate voltage it means it is in linear region so p transistor will be in saturation n transistor will be in linear we say the output will be below vdd by 2 point so v out is less than vdd by 2 and whatever the region d we have that is vdd by 2 to vdd minus mod of vtp that is the uh, region we call it as region d similarly if you look at region e now region e in the sense it is above this point already we will be having vgs more than some 4 volt of point and we will be having vds very less so the transistor will be already in linear region previously it continues and because of vgs more than some 4 volt point p transistor will be completely off it is cut off so v out will be completely zero because the uh, output terminal directly connected to vss there is no connection from p mosfet at all so we will be getting v out is equal to zero now if we clearly look at the p device and the n device status initially n device will be in cutoff so p transistor will come to cutoff at the last and then it comes to saturation region here it will be saturated then n device will be linear in the last two regions in the first two regions p device will be in the linear region if you don't know the working and the regions of the p device just look at the n device as you can compare the voltage at the gate and the drain easily you can write cutoff saturation saturation linear linear in the reverse way if you write linear linear over here saturation saturation over here and cutoff over here it is easy to write the p device characteristics by looking at n device this is the way we can analyze the what is the output when the input is this by looking at the n device status now if you look at the current over here we will be having p transistor and n transistor like this so we know that the currents will be in the reverse direction why because we call it as ids the currents will be ids from drain to source we will be calling and in the p transistor because of the transistor will be connected in this fashion ids is going above so in the reverse direction actually current flows it will be called as minus ids or we treat it as minus or we treat it as plus isd so if you look at this curve you can easily come to know this is vds this is ids so as we know for different voltage different voltages from the gate we will be getting the different curve like this let us consider some uh, voltage like this vgs over here as we increase vgs it will be increasing in a linear region and then it becomes constant this is n transistor characteristics similarly the current will be negative in the p transistor here also the current will increase and then it becomes constant in the saturation region so if we combine these two and put it in a positive coordinate it will be black curve indicating the n transistor characteristics 
and blue indicating the p-transistor characteristics. These things will coincide over here. So this is what the current characteristics of the CMOS inverter. Now, if you take only one value, one voltage like V in phi and put it together, it will look like this. So we, we say the current will increase in the CMOS inverter. You can see here, current will increase and then it will reach us the maximum point, then it will decrease. Why? Because here in the uh, region B, the end transistor will start it to switch to saturation from cutoff and it will be uh, there in saturation, then it will go to linear region, then it will go to linear region. Similarly, P transistor will be linear, linear here, then saturation, saturation here and then cutoff. So, initially P transistor will only be on, the end transistor will be off. So, there is no continuous current. You are talking about the current over here is from VDD to VSS. What is the current flow over here? So, there is no current. When we at region B, there is some small current flow because of end transistor started to turn on and because of region C is both are in saturation, we will be having a maximum current. Then in region D, uh, because of the end transistor already switched to linear region, the transistor current uh, in the P transistor reduces. So, current reduces here. In the E region, already this P transistor will be in cutoff and the end transistor will be in linear. So, the rail to rail current from VDD to ground will be not getting and it will be zero. Means we say only in this region we will be having a maximum current flow from VDD to ground in a CMOS inverter. So you can look at here, here P transistor is on and N transistor is off. Here in region E, N transistor is on and P transistor is off. That's why in these two regions, current will be less and in the region B, region C and region E, we will be having a maximum current flow in region C especially. So region C will be having the maximum current. So if we talk about the current flow in the CMOS inverter, the maximum current flow will happen at the time of switching. Switching in the sense, it is 1 up to here, we call it as logic 1. From here, if you take this as a switching point from logic 1 to 0, the maximum current flow will happen in region C, right? So rail to rail current, we call it as. So there is a static current flow happen only in region C and we say other places and in region B and region D, there will be less current flow. This is all about the DC characteristics as well as IV characteristics of CMOS inverter. Thank you.